Okay, so finally in this second stage of the process, the research phase, let's take a look at an example from the business that I've built and sold. So as you now know, in 2007, I started a company called Melbourne Private Tours. And five years later, we launched MPT Corporate Events. Now, why did I launch MPT Corporate Events? Well, it was because I had a hunch that a lot of our experiences would translate into the local corporate market. And that was backed up by the increasing volume of inquiry that we were receiving um, through 2010, 2011, and 2012 from local businesses for their company Christmas parties, for their team building events, for their pre and post conference uh, touring programs or experiences, partner programs, and, and, and much, much more. And usually the inquiries were coming from executive assistants or personal assistants. Uh, they were sometimes coming from business owners. They were sometimes coming from the heads of, of sales and marketing. But most inquiries are pretty similar. It was something on the lines of, you know, I'm just researching for something to do for my event A, event B, or need C, and came across your, let's say, for example, your chef-led tour or your foodies walk or your Yarra Valley ballooning and barrel tasting, whatever it may be. And this looks like something my team would like to do. Can you send me over some information and perhaps a quote? I felt the signs were there and I decided to, to really take the time to do this properly. So how did I go about it? Well, the first thing I did, I went back to all of our corporate inquiries from the past three years and I took a really good look at the types of businesses, the types of industries, the, the size of the company, and the role of the person who had made the inquiry. And there were quite a few patterns that, that emerged. This is the, the way that I decided to approach it. I started, first of all, with people in my networks because a lot of people we know are working in companies. So I started with them and I asked them questions. I, I can't remember how many people at the time, maybe you know, 20, 30, 40 people. Do you do anything in the way of company entertainment in your business. So oh, what do you do? Well, do you do Christmas parties? Do you have a, you know, do you do team building days? Do you have a, an annual conference? Do you have any, you know, reward and recognition programs? What, what do you do? What's happening in your business? And then we'll tell me more about those events. So wh when do they happen? Uh, how much approximately per person uh, is your company spending on these events? And questions like how you know how big is the company? How many people would generally attend these events? Who's the decision maker? What kind of role does that decision maker have? Are they in the HR department? Is it the executive assistant? Is it the business owner? Who's actually making the decisions? Who's collating the ideas? Who's making the call on what you're actually doing? What was the the talk around the office? What was the talk around the water cooler on the on the Monday morning after the event? Were these events appreciated? Was attendance really strong? Um, were they seen you know perceived to be thoughtful generous not particularly thoughtful and from an from an attendee perspective what were some of the the, the the frustrations the challenges and those you know desires that you were feeling what hit the mark and what fell way you know way short so then I went a little deeper and I put some time into to researching industries that were doing really well at that point just googling around finding industries that were flying back in 2012 and then researching local businesses within those industries that were seen to have really strong performance businesses that were doing really really well and people were talking about it again really easy stuff to find just by googling around and then lastly local businesses in those industries that fit the demographic of those that we had been generating a lot of inquiry from and from there it was time to hit the phones and people a lot of people find this to be really uncomfortable it came pretty easy to me so the aim of the call was to have a conversation with the decision maker within that business. So whoever I got on the phone, it might be the receptionist, secretary, it might be the switchboard, whoever it was, it was it was, it was always the same. This is who I am, this is what I do. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm working on a really awesome new range of team building experiences or company Christmas party options, whatever it is that, that, that I was working on. And I was really wanting to have a chat with the person responsible for corporate entertaining or for organizing these type of events in your organization. I'm not selling anything. I'm just trying to get a real sense of what people out there, local businesses out there are doing right now and how we can serve them better. The kind of questions that I would ask them would be, you know, what do you do for X, Y, Z, for your Christmas party, for your 
for team building days, for end of financial year events, or for your annual conference, for any reward and recognition for staff, whatever it was. What do you do? When do you do it? How much do you often spend per person was a really good one. People were generally quite forthcoming. Yeah, we usually spend about you know $200 per person, or, or I, I could ask them if they might have mentioned that they did a a uh, dinner in a private dining room. So I could sort of estimate that, that I'd say, well, you know, would you say that that probably costs about $100 per person for the food and maybe, you know, $60 per person? And I'd say, yeah, that sounds about right. So I could come up with a general rough idea as to what they spent per person for the, the, the team size that they were entertaining and, you know, how, how often. And also questions like, you know, what, what was feedback generally like? And for you as the decision maker, what was the single biggest challenge or frustration or fear that you had with these events? And it might be, well, it's not my core role. So, you know, I, I frankly find it's a bit of a headache. It's I'm trying to do my job, but I've got this responsibility to organize these things. I devoted as much time as I possibly could to this. And I got some really, really fascinating insights from local businesses. So lastly, as a, as a, as a final parting uh, question: When we fully developed these, you know, this new range of X or these new experiences that, that we've talked about, what if I could come back to you with two or three ideas you know, that are, are going to come in? under budget, they're gonna make you look amazing in front of your boss, they're gonna be meaningful, they're gonna be memorable, they're gonna get people talking about them around the, 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 the water core, they're gonna get people appreciating the thought that you've, uh, that you've put into them, would you be interested in seeing those? And the answer was absolutely yes.